Right then, this is uh, the stress topic, and in this video we're looking at individual differences in stress. Um, what that basically means is, as you know, differences between people, and in particular uh, personality is what we're looking at in this video. Um, we're looking at something called type A and B personality, which we have touched on very briefly previously, but we're going to do a bit more detail on it today. So, uh, personality, how does personality cause stress? Well, there are lots, there are a few different types that we're going to be looking at as part of this topic, um, but some particular personalities are more prone to being affected by negative, uh, negative stress um, and other personalities are less likely to be affected by stress. Um, so these are the types that we'll be looking at, but in this video we're only looking at type A and B personality. Uh, so type A personality. This uh, was meant to be a, there we go, uh, this was something discovered by Friedman and Rosenman who actually at the start were cardiologists and they noticed that the seat in their, um, in the seats in their waiting room uh, got worn out really quickly um, and and they noticed that what, what the patients were basically doing was sitting on the very edge of their seats, jumping up and down. They were wearing out the arms because they were fidgeting. So um, they noticed that this was linked with the fact that these were cardiac patients, that their, their waiting room seats were wearing out really, really quickly. They were kind of sitting like uh, this tennis player, Rafael Nadal. They were sitting like, like this, really nervously on the edge of their seats. So um, where this went then was they came up with this theory of type A behaviour and they did some research which I'll outline in a minute. Basically there's two personalities that they outlined. Type A personalities are competitive, time are urgent, they're driven, they're impatient, they're intolerant of, of people doing things inefficiently, they're hostile, aggressive, um, you know, I've already said competitive, uh, they like multitasking. Um, type B is basically the opposite. They're really laid back, tolerant, patient, non-competitive people. Um, uh, and you can think where you might fall uh, within <laughs> either of those personality types. But type A um, uh, personalities are more likely to make you vulnerable to stress whereas if you've got a type B personality it kind of protects you against stress or so goes the theory anyway let's just put that down in a bit more detail uh, so things like being frustrated at the efforts of others this is just an easy way to remember it angry cat so type A's are competitive angry time urgent they're always trying to get lots done they're trying to do loads of jobs and so on and they tend to be aggressive angry intolerant impatient types okay so let's have a look type B then uh, as characterised by Homer Simpson, uh, relaxed, tolerant, reflective, laid back, non-competitive. Let's look at how they came up with this. So this is their research that they carried out. They were looking at, th this was a longitudinal study, 3,200 healthy men and they interviewed them um, and they also observed them um, and uh, for for tone of voice and body language and so on and as a result of the interview uh, they were then categorized they decided whether they were type a type b or type x which was like a balance between the two of them um, and then they basically followed them up to see who developed coronary heart disease um, <clears throat> So by the end, they had 257 men um, out of the 3,200 had developed coronary heart disease. 70% of them were from the type A group. So that was really, they found, oh yeah, they found that these men had higher adrenaline, noradrenaline, blood pressure and cholesterol. And so this suggests that that type A behaviour pattern is linked to heart disease because the vast majority of the, of the people who had developed heart disease were in that type a personality group. Um, so let's have a look at other research that supports this theory that type A personality is more likely to lead to heart disease. Um, 
First of all, we've got this study by Edigo, and by the way, I'm using the online textbook for this um, rather than the booklet. So if you can't find these studies I'm talking about, uh, go and have a look in the online textbook. You've got the details for that. So Edigo, this is the first one, uh, had looked at 150 Spanish men and women who had had a stroke um, and they compared them with a matched group and they found that stroke sufferers were more likely to be type A. Uh, and they factored in various other fact, uh, risk factors uh, in their calculations and found that that this was that that the other lifestyle risk factors weren't what was causing the stroke that it was more likely to be down to their personality so that suggests that um that this is a, a real link doesn't it that you've got the type a personality as being linked to uh, a, a real risk here of, of serious illness However, big problem with this um, theory is that actually type A personality is really, really broad and it's been criticised for this um, because actually it includes so many different traits, doesn't it? If you look at the list that's that's on that side page, I would imagine that there's um, many of us looking at that list that think, well, yes, I, I have that characteristic and that one and that one but actually I, I'm not like that and I'm not like that so it's very broad um, and actually there's a number of bits of research now that have looked at um, is it actually just hostility that causes um, that that's linked to coronary heart disease and other serious uh, illnesses so um, Matthews was one of them and he found, uh, or they found that coronary heart disease was more associated with hostility rather than uh, the type A personality as a whole. And then you've got a second study here for sure, um, suggesting again, hostility trait rather than personality type A um, being related to coronary heart disease. So you've got two studies there, really, that have found the same thing, that it's not type A personality as a whole, but just hostility that predicts heart, coronary heart dis disease. So this is really a criticism of, of this theory, um, because it's suggesting that, that the type A personality as a whole is not what's causing the issue. It's just some parts of it um, that are involved Right. Um, the next thing that we can say when we're evaluating this issue is that actually it's a really, really useful theory because what we can do is identify people that are type A and then reduce stress related coronary heart disease. It's not just some kind of theoretical research that's going to sit on a shelf somewhere. This is going to have a positive impact in the real world. So there's a study outlined here that just gives you a bit more uh, detail about how you could do that. Friedman um, actually gave uh, sorry cognitive behavioural therapy to people who were type A who'd suffer, suffered a heart attack. You can see here from the figures that I've put on this slide, uh, it actually reduced um, the percentage of them that, that went on to have another heart attack. Um, and particularly looking at those who'd reduced their type A behavior the most had a much lower risk. So it's confirming, it's saying that actually, even though we might not be completely convinced about type A theory as a whole, it's still useful and helpful in real life if we're able to prevent people having heart attacks from it. Um, one last thing which you might consider talking about is this study which is outlined in the online textbook which really contradicts um, the theory. Um, so this was Ragland and Brand and they went to Friedman and Rosamond's original 257 participants and they compared those who had had heart attacks um, they compared the type A's and the type B's and looked at who was more likely to die later with like basically with a second heart attack and uh, what's the mortality risk they were looking at and they found that those with type b personalities were more likely to die following their heart attack than type a personalities and um, they haven't been able to explain that finding particularly because it's quite a complex finding isn't it it might be to do with some other linked sort of behavior 
Um, but basically, that's contradicting the original Friedman and Rosenman study because it's saying that the, the risk from coronary heart disease was greater in type B than type A. So uh, there you go. There's a contradictory study. So that's all for today. Um, any questions, save them for the online lesson.